thousands of residents were told to leave their homes as heavy rain caused flooding in parts of California. Relentless storms have killed at least 15 people since late December. Carpinteria, California, relentless rains that started falling on Sunday have flooded parts of Los Angeles, killed at least 15 people statewide and led to evacuation orders for nearly 50 residents across California as rivers continue to rise and mudslide fears grow. Here's what to know forecasters warned Californians to expect unusual bouts of hail, lightning storms, wind gusts of up to 60 miles an hour and possibly even tornadoes to go along with the heavy rain for much of Tuesday. Remote parts of Ventura and Santa Barbara counties, north of Los Angeles, had already received more than 16 inches of rain by early Tuesday, with more on the way. Experts say the cost of the damage done by the storms could top $1 billion. More than 30 residents were placed under evacuation orders on Monday in Santa Cruz County, about 70 miles south of San Francisco, as creeks and rivers topped their banks, threatened homes and washed away at least one bridge. Read about the damage on the battered California coast. A five-year-old boy was feared dead after the vehicle he was in was swept away by floodwaters in San Luis Obispo County on the central coast. The authorities called off their search for the boy on Monday when conditions became too dangerous, and said they would resume the search when conditions allow. Here's advice for surviving a flash flood. Looking ahead, seven more inches of rain could fall in many parts of California over the next several days, as yet another enormous cyclone that is forming off the coast slams areas of Northern California and the Pacific Northwest on Wednesday, the Weather Service said. Here's how climate change is shaping California's stormy weather. More than 200 schools across the state are closed on Tuesday for weather-related reasons, according to the California Department of Education. The battering from a series of storms has made a mess of major roads and highways across California. A massive boulder blocked a canyon road in Malibu. A hillside crumbled onto a highway in Fresno and stretches of the well-traveled Highway 101 were turned into rivers. The California Highway Patrol said parts of nearly a dozen highways were closed in the Central Coast region, where damage has been the most severe. Montecito got a brief respite as the sun peeked through the clouds, allowing some residents to walk dogs on the rain-slick streets. Officials warned, however, that road conditions were still bad and the county remained under an evacuation order. Workers arrived Tuesday to repair flood damage and clean up debris around Lake Merritt, a 140-acre wildlife refuge near downtown Oakland. The lake is nearly overflowing, and some nearby streets have flooded. Power and internet service have been intermittent in surrounding homes.